Here, just take care of business. Get out of the car! 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 Instead of receiving the traffic ticket, the woman booked herself a jail cell. A dramatic confrontation between the drunk and the police. The drunken woman loves to complicate matters. The unruly couple faced the consequences after an encounter with the police. Let's see what they had to face. On March 26, 2024, in Santa Rosa County, Florida, a female driver was pulled over by the police for speeding. Initially, the driver was stopped for driving 60 miles per hour in the 45 mile per hour zone. When the police approached her, she refused to exit the vehicle despite being asked multiple times. I will tell you in a second. I need you to step out. All right. Listen, ma'am. I'm. We're, listen. You're coming this close. All right. You're about to go to jail. All right. Li I, I'll explain everything to you if you step out. No. I'm telling you right now to step out of the vehicle, or you are going. To, you are going to go to jail if you do not step out of the vehicle. I will tell you that in a second. Okay. Tell me now. I don't have to tell you that. I'm telling you to step out now. I'm giving you a lawful order. Okay. You're going 60 miles an hour in a 45. All right. Step out of the vehicle or I'm going to take you to jail right now. Do you understand that? I have other units coming right now. Step out or you are going to jail for resisting. I'm not I'm not playing around with you. You almost got pitted out, all right? What? You for failing to stop. I turned my sirens sir, on. Sir, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Listen, I ma'am. No, you are second. I'm as soon as another unit no, listen, I'm telling really you I am right now. I'm telling I'm you step out of the vehicle. I don't want to talk to you in the okay, car. Get I'm out of the vehicle. Wait. Get out of the vehicle. No. Man, once another unit comes, I'm busting this window no, and I am dragging you out. Bust my window car. You're not even letting me talk and let me explain. I don't need. Stuff. I don't need you. I'm telling you to step out. I'm I am legally allowed to tell you to step right out. Now. I don't. I don't care what you think. I am telling wow. you right now to step out of the vehicle or you're going to jail. I'm giving you one last chance. If you do not step out of this vehicle, I am taking you to jail for resisting. Although the officers patiently explained and issued clear commands, the woman stubbornly refused to comply and even dared the police to break her car door. I'm, I'm going to be nice. Give you one more chance. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle or you're going to jail. I'm going to break the window and you're going to jail. Step out of the vehicle. All right, you want to go that way. 174, she's pulling off. Give me traffic. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle now! Step out of the vehicle with your hands up! Step out of the vehicle with your hands up! After multiple warnings, the police were forced to take stronger measures, including breaking the car door and restraining her. However, the woman continued to resist and even attempted to flee once more before being arrested. Here, just take care of business. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out! Of the car. Get out! Of the car. Get out! Get out. Get out of the car. Talk to me. Get out. Stop. Seatbelt off. Stop. 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 Seatbelt off. Stop. Stop. Get out. Stop. Talk to me. Get out. Get out of the car. Stop. 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 Get out. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. She's detained. Windows have been busted. You can clear traffic. You didn't talk to me. Okay. You anything did not talk. Your, anything on you, you that I'll pick up stickers. You did not talk. You have anything on you? did not talk to me. I'm not talking to nobody. Okay. And you guys did not talk at all. And you hit my car. Yes, I did. Why did you hit my car? You did not talk to me. I don't need you did not want Yes, you should. Yes, I have a right you, to be talked to and have a reason why. All these, no, all these, I'm not telling you anything. Rights. I do not. You guys are wrong. You guys are, right. you guys are absolutely wrong. I am sitting here.
Put your, your head in all the way. No. No. Hold, Hold it. Hold it. No. Stop. No. I want to. Take don't it. touch me. Stop. I'm taking your glasses. Stop. Off. So Stop. We don't break them. No. Ready? Right, no. Go. Stop. Stop. Help. You can't. Help. You're going to get a felony charge. Help. 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 I got you. I got you. She got a driver's license. You know, Dude, Sue, I was gonna give her a written warning. I, yeah. 60 miles an hour, that's what I pulled her over for. 60. What's her name? Jacaria? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Is she on this side? Did you want to look at the RO? Is that her? She the RO? She takes her car. Hey, you're gonna go to my car, okay? All right? No, I wanna be let go. Okay. You're going to jail. You're going? No, I am not. You're right. You're right. You're right. No. Listen. No, he listen. was rude to listen. me. Listen. He was totally okay. disrespectful okay. coming to my I'm, car. I'm not that they hurt your feelings. I'm Debbie Kim, okay? But well, we got to go to jail. Okay? No. That's, that's not. No. The... I'm waiting for my dad. No, we're not doing that. No. So, no. you're going to go with us? or right, No. Come on. No, stop. Wait. Hold on. Do not. Up. Let's go. Can you... Stop. Let's go. Can you wait? Stop. Come on. Can we Get out of the car. Stop. Can we talk? We're past talk. talking. You already ran. Get I'm out of the car now. Hey, Get out of the car. Anywhere. Walk. That's my dad. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Stop. We're done, I'm not We're even done talking. I'm not even running. It's open. Get in the car. Okay, thank you. Just have a seat, please. Sit down, or they're going to grab you by your handcuffs and pull okay, you in the car. Let me sit down. Stop. Wait. Let Get me in do it. The car. Let me do it. Sit down. Okay. Let me do okay. it. Sit down. Okay. Let me sit do down. It. Okay. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Okay. Sit down, please. Okay. Damn. Okay. Move. You're about out of time. Sit down. No, you guys are being. Wait. Hey. Hey. You hey. Hey. Stop. Ouch. You're hurting my arm. You. Hey, is this her dad pulling up? I don't know. How's it going, ma'am? So yeah. So all right. I'll explain everything. I'm I'm the officer that initiated. Okay. Um, I had her going 60 miles an hour in the 45, right? I was already gonna, I had in my mind, I was gonna give her a written warning. We came up to Commerce, right? She was going uh, northbound on Avalon, right? I turned around on her, caught up to her, turned my lights on, she moved over to the right. I got on my PA, because it was a red light on Commerce. I was like, hey, when the light turns, turn right, all right? She turned right, but she kept going. I was like, all right, turn on my sirens. She pulled over. All right, she pulled over farther down the road, not where I wanted her to stop, um, at some, uh, it, it was uh, like the, the on, you know, on Commerce right across from Trump. Um, she's Can been- Can I get the key from her? Huh? Can I get the key from her? I have, I have the keys for her. Um, the, the car is getting towed, all right? Yeah, it was, so it was commission of a felony. She, she fled from me, all right? That's what I was trying because to get to. Because she went further down? No, 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 so after, she, she's been very combative with the whole time. We have cameras on him. Um, so as soon as we got to Commerce, all right, we turned right, she went down, and she pulled up uh, against these warehouses right across from Trump Avenue or Trump, whatever it's called, all right? I got out, and I asked her, I was like, hey, I need you to step out of the vehicle so I can talk to you, all right? Because I didn't know if she was going to keep driving off. I didn't know what she was doing, right? And she told me, no, I'm not getting out. And I told her multiple times, I'm giving you a lawful order. I need you to step out of the vehicle. She refused. I even told her why I stopped her. I was like, you're going 16 to 45. I need you to step out of the vehicle and talk to me. I just wanted her out of the vehicle for my safety and everyone else's, all right? right. Um, she refused. I told her, look, I'm, I gave her multiple, multiple commands. Step out of the vehicle. I'm going to have to break the window if you don't come out. I was on, the only one by myself. I was waiting for more units. All right. Once uh, more units said they were coming, I went back to my vehicle to get gloves on in case I did have to break the glass. All right. Because again, she kept multiple times for a few adamant that she was not getting out of the vehicle. I asked her nicely. I asked her multiple times. I was like, please get out. I'm telling you it's a lawful order. I told her what the consequences would be if she didn't. I was like, you're going to go to jail. You don't need to do that. You're going to go to jail if you don't step out. She refused. And then I told her, you are going to jail now. Once other officers come, if you don't step out, I'm going to break the window and I'm going to have to forcibly remove you to take you into custody. Uh, again, once other officers were coming, I put my gloves on, went back to my vehicle. She drove off. All right. So I had my lights and sirens on. We pulled out of commerce. She stopped at the red light. All right. But she still failed to yield, all right, and she still fled the traffic stop, so that's already a felony, all right. Um, I got permission to do a pit maneuver, all right, as soon as we came out onto Avalon, I pitted her out. It was a low-speed one, so I hit her. She spun out. She ended up hitting my car. 
corrected herself and then continued up into here. Ultimately, she was charged with multiple offenses, including disobeying a police officer, nonviolent resistance, and obstructing law enforcement. These charges could result in a prison sentence of up to 18 months and substantial fines. On April 10, 2024, police in Ohio received a call from a hotel regarding a couple refusing to leave after their stay had ended. When the police arrived at the hotel, they found Jason, 46, and Jennifer, 42, sitting in the hotel lobby, refusing to leave when asked. What's your social? You don't know your social. What's your first name? Me, you, or who's the old first? Oh, who is it? So you're gonna have to undo yourself. I did your shit. That's your same with the Act Police Department. You know who I am. No, I don't. Damn. I don't know who you are. You only know who I am. Listen, I'm not being bad. Go with them. Go with them. You still need an ID yourself. I need no ID. Huh? I ain't got no ID. So you can either provide your ID or you're going to go in handcuffs. Well, handcuffs for what? For not IDing yourself. Well, I did myself. Well, I just need to go somewhere in handcuffs for not IDing yourself. You just need to ID. Jeff Farr, Jeff Farr. Because he's being asked by the manager to leave. Okay. What do you want to do? So that is a crime. Okay, so how about this? I didn't commit a crime. When asked to present identification, the man became agitated and refused to cooperate. He even challenged the police, escalating the situation further. I didn't There's nothing that's been done wrong, so we can leave. Well, you as well. Okay, so I'm yeah. gonna leave. Jennifer. Jennifer, what's your last name? It's Reedy. And I would like to be speaking to you and not disrespecting you in front of you. But you know, there's a way that things have to be done when there's authority issues. I don't I, I respect you, sir. Thank you very much. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, let's see. We got, uh, should I try to handle a little accurate? If you can give us his name, this would I mean, we'll be gone. So I mean, my thing is, is I am really tired of being someone who sit down and getting disrespected by officers. We're asked to leave. Right, Did they come out and ask more than once? No. They don't have one time. Okay, so. And you guys didn't leave. Okay, so then here's the thing. We can leave right now and not have to be detained. There's no reason to be detained. There's no reason to be detained, though. And right I find now, that to be absurd. Take because you, Okay, so then you know what? Then when I get held places, and it causes bruises on my body, and I just wish for people to see. No, I was detained by the police weeks ago, and I still have bruises on my body. And I want you to see them. With pressure points. Would you like to see all of them? Because that would require me to be very rude in public. And it did happen. And they called me a different name. And then took me to the hospital. And I don't appreciate that. Because I went along with it, thinking that it was part of something that was not. Is there a reason you guys didn't leave when they asked you to? These are things very, very important to me. Is there a reason you guys didn't leave when they asked you to? No, she didn't ask to leave. I thought she was caught up in You know, when you are friends. Not only that, but the woman also refused to leave the hotel, and both of them ignored the officer's repeated requests. This forced the officers to use strong measures to restrain and arrust them. Hey, hey, come on. Come over here. Relax. 
Jason and Jennifer were both charged with multiple offenses, including resisting arrest, obstructing law enforcement, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. For these offenses, the man was sentenced to 90 days in jail, with 76 days suspended, and placed on probation for one year. The woman was also detained and faced similar charges. She was held in the county jail with a bail set at $25. The next incident involves a dramatic traffic stop between a driver and the police. While on patrol, a police officer approached a car parked on the wrong side of the road. Hey, are you parking here? Just for a second. I'm going to Bye get my Android. Bye. Okay. See you in a I love my bonnet. Okay, because you're totally like facing the wrong way. That part. Okay. That's okay. Like one of us. Yeah, I mean, got pulled I out of the city, arrested and everything. I'm coming up. And she's drunk. <laughs> and y'all let her get away with this. That's why I had to pull it just to see how. Okay. Initially, the officer simply asked the woman to provide her documents and check her health condition, suspecting that she was intoxicated. This girl pulls up and says, oh, I think I left my phone here. I'm just checking real quick. I'm like, you can't park this way. She's like, I'm just running inside real quick. And now the people that just got kicked out, no, they're just recording to make sure that something is done with this. So, because they think that she's drunk. Dab a little in the straw. And that might mess. Just like dip that in the straw. Yeah, that's gonna work. Will that mess up the concentration a little though? Well, they don't care about the concentration. I just want to know if there's some in there. Yep. All right. Well, there's an open container. Just grinder. I didn't find any actual blood. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to find my hand. Okay. And you think you left it here? It's ringing. Yeah, I like this in my lap. I'm on the stage left side. I'm just trying to find it. It's ringing with the sun. Have you been drinking? A little bit, but... How much is a little bit? I don't know. Do you have any buff? Okay, because it seems like a little bit more than a little bit. Um, uh, probably about... Three beers that I'm like, I'm not sure. What? Um, yes. You what? I do not know how to do this. If you want me to take some water, and I can blow it up. I'm just, I lost my ingredient. It's connected. The only reason I know it's connected is because it's the Wi Fi. 
I just don't pour it. The woman admitted to having consumed alcohol, and when asked to perform field sobriety tests, she failed to follow the instructions. You want to do some? Uh, I'll do whatever. Some fields? <laughs> yep, he'll talk, whatever. We're gonna ask you to just because we saw you driving where we're at. Okay, gotta make sure you're good to drive before we leave here. Okay, you ready to start? What would you like me to do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate something for you, but while I'm doing that, I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe. Right foot in front of your left foot. Sorry. Hands down at your sides. And I want you to stand like that while I demonstrate and explain the test for you, okay? Yep. All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a series of nine steps forward, then do a series of small steps turning around, and then take nine steps back. All heel to toe, hands down at your sides. Okay. Can you Got go it. ahead and put your feet back like this for me? Yep. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe. Okay. One, two, Three, a series of several small steps, turning around and going back. One, two, three. I only did three, I want you to do nine. Do you understand? Yes, I'm mean, taking this foot back, pulling back, and then that's one, or is this one step going to eight? This is your first step, okay? One last test that I want you to do. Just go ahead and stand with your feet together, hands down at sides again. And then you can pick whichever foot you want, whichever one you're most comfortable with. But I want you to raise that six feet parallel with the ground, looking at your foot, and just 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, until I tie to stop. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, give me one second. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. And whenever you're ready, you may begin. Oh, okay. One, one, okay, got it. One, one, thousand, one. One, one, thousand, two. One, one, thousand, three. One, one, thousand, four. Out, One, one, thousand, five. One, one, thousand, four. One, one, thousand, six. One, one, thousand, seven. One, one, thousand, eight. One, one, thousand, nine. One, one, thousand, ten. One, one, thousand, eleven. One, one, thousand, twelve. Sorry, one, one, thousand. Okay, you can stop. Okay, sorry. When the blood alcohol test results showed she was over the legal limit, the officer informed her that she would be arrested for driving under the influence. Okay, point one nine six. You know what the legal limit is? Point eight. Point oh eight. Okay, so I can't drive right now. You're twice over. Okay. Okay, but you already drove. That's the problem. So I need you to put your hands behind your back. How can you arrest me? No, 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 no,
You got a video camera right now? Yes, I on. did not. Stop yes. and face the car. No, I'm not going to face the car. You're not going to stay here. And you're you're going to face the car. So you're manhandling me? Yes, because you're not what? following directions. I didn't even get to see it. I got Instead of cooperating, the woman began to resist, refusing to be handcuffed and repeatedly demanding to be released. This behavior led to an additional charge of resisting a police officer. What could have ended with just a traffic ticket escalated into further trouble due to her confrontational behavior. On September 29, 2023, Police were called to a business after receiving the report of a drunken woman refusing to leave the premises. When the police arrived, they approached the heavily intoxicated woman who was trying to appear sober in front of them. Oh, well, the other thing is, if I get out, I just need my bag. I need my sweet bag and I'll be up. Can I have your shoes? You think you can stand up and we help you? Evidently not, no, yeah. If I just have your shoes, I'll be able to. Do you know here? I know, sir. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'll have your shoes. Yeah. Can you get it together? So we don't want you getting hurt, but if you want to try and oh, stand up. Oh, let me in. Oh, let me in. Let me just go on the back way. Look, just get it, tighten up a little bit for a second. Stand up. Uh, oh, get it oh well, let me, let me go on the back. <laughs> let me go on the back. There's no door there. No door. Let, let, let me go on the back. However, her actions clearly demonstrated that she had lost all sense of control and could not manage her behavior. <laughs> Help me. I'll be up this way. No, listen, hey, hey, you're not climbing the wall. Stop. Hey, you're going to get hey, hurt. Man. Where are you going? Oh. What are you doing? Come on. Oh. Hey, get down from here. Get down. 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me get Stop. Out. What are you doing? Let me get out. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, hey. hey. What are you doing? Just relax. Let me get out. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm man, down. Don't calm do down. Let me get out. Calm down. Let's go. If you want to get out, let's go. Let's go other way. No, no, no. You're not no, climbing no, 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 that. No, no, You're no, going to no, get no. hurt. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, no. stop. hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Calm down. Hey, stop. Listen. Uh, it ain't going to end well if you keep doing this. Uh, let me stop get it. out. You got to calm down. You got to. Listen, you're going to get hurt. Listen. You're, you're this gonna, ain't gonna end well, I'm telling you. Oh. Well, calm, calm down, calm down. Listen, hey, hey, look at hey. me. What's your name? Hey, can I, can what's I get your name out again? First? Hey, what's your name? Talk to me for a second. Hey, just tell me your name real quick. Hey, oh. what are you doing? Stop. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey. Let me out. Uh. Can you get out there? What's that? Listen, hey, I don't know, What are you? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh. The officers tried to remain calm and persuade her to cooperate, but the woman stubbornly refused and continued to cause a disturbance. You got that other arm good, Logan? Yeah. Yeah, just don't let her. No! Here, go, uh, yeah, I got this one good. You! You! Fuck you! You! Here, I got this one. You! Yeah, I got him both. Here, I'll grab it quick. I'm gonna do it. You! Is 
you're not nice. Why did you think? That's what she was fighting with us. She was kind of raising there. So she wasn't like trying to hurt you directly. She was trying to get away. Who knows? She was getting hurt. She was trying to fuck us up. But she was trying to. She made it to the top. You know what? Hand me my bag. Take down these cuffs. I'll get out of here. I'll be happy as a clam. She's just a loose cannon. Hmm? You know what? Fucking fucking you know what? If I'm drinking 50 I mean, I could, fireballs, I can take all of y'all. You're here for a legal reason. Oh, you identify yourself in the Get out of here! All of y'all. I could take you know her to what? the ER, but then she's going to probably get up from here. I would, but I can't. That's a Let's go to the big red questions. I can hit her with ketamine, but it's really not. I don't give a what you can do. Ultimately, the police were forced to use strong measures to restrain and arrest her for resisting and causing a public disturbance. This is a clear example of how losing self-control under the influence of alcohol can lead to serious legal consequences. The police responded to a call reporting a drunk woman arguing with staff at a local bar. Upon arrival, the police spoke with the woman, who appeared confused and denied any altercation. Despite holding keys next to her car, she insisted she had no intention to drive. So I received a call I'm responding to in reference to an issue. Did you get into maybe a little issue with the bartender or an argument with somebody? No, not that I remember. You no. sure? You don't remember? No. We're very specific about it being you. So something something transpired in there. So if you can help me understand. No one's no. in trouble at this point, but I'd like to know what's going on. No, absolutely not. Well, uh, are you planning on driving? No. The officer emphasized the need to address the disturbance caused by the call, but the woman remained adamant in her refusal. Oh, okay. That's you have keys in your hand next to a car, so I was just wondering. Exactly. Okay, that's not a crazy question. I think it's fair to assume you've got the keys in your hand, you're standing next to the car. Are you planning on driving tonight? Right now. Okay. Are you waiting for an Uber or yes. a cab? Oh, did you call one? No, I did not call one. I'm trying to find a friend. Okay. All right. Do you need some help? No. Okay, let's go back inside and find out what's going on. I don't want, no, I, I don't even understand what's going on here. I'm instructing you to come back inside with me so we can determine that. But I don't want to do that. I'm asking you to. No, I'm not going to do that. You're going to do what I ask you to do because we need to determine what the issue is. And they're no. calling on you. There's an issue here. So I'm asking you so we can sort it out no. so there's no confusion. Uh, no. Really? You sure? Yes. The situation escalated as she continuously interrupted and argued with the officers who were trying to explain the reason for the investigation. We are going to determine what happened here because I've been called here that you were causing a disturbance. Am I being clear? Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. But don't what part of that don't you understand? Where you're, why you're approaching me right now. Because the business called and explained that you are causing a disturbance. So I'm checking out with you. And I'm trying to understand, and I've offered to have you come inside so we could determine and sort out with the business what exactly is going on. And you're being very defensive, and you won't comply. So I've also what, noticed what, that you're... I I'm not done. Defensive? I'm not done. No, I'm not done. Yes, I'm you not. are. You are done. You're going to listen because you asked me a question. No, wait. That, no, no, I'm not going to wait. Not... I'm going to explain this to you, and then you may go. Because no. we're, gonna, we're going to have some what common courtesy. Is not... Um, like appropriate. Ma'am, I'm explaining to you, I'm answering your question, and you're cutting me off. That's not appropriate. No, you're cutting me off. I was talking first. Well, okay. Her uncooperative and defiant behavior reinforced the police's certainty regarding the need to address the issue based on the bar staff's report. You're accusing me of taking a notch in here and there. See, me so being very defensive and very argumentative. I have not been. You actually showed up out of the blue. I was called to you, actually, well, to deal and, with you because you're understand. causing disturbance in there. What but don't I you wasn't. understand about that? You're and causing a disturbance. In, and, that's why and, we're called and, here. And what was the disturbance? I would like to take you inside so we can talk about that. No, I don't want to go inside. Okay, so I'll wait here for backup to get here, and then I'll go find out. And then you can figure out what the disturbance was. I They called, they described you and said, you're standing here and you're this. You're the disturbance. And I was standing here, and that's the point. The point is, you were intoxicated, causing disturbance, and you're standing here, and here you are, and you are intoxicated. So they're talking about, they're reporting you. I can be in intoxicated. All I want, but, but the thing is, is, is I can be intoxicated in public, but I haven't done anything to anybody in there. I haven't done anything in front of my car. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. What is your first name? None of your business. 
Oh, it, actually it is. Actually it's not. I'm conducting an investigation for a breach of peace no, and you're trespassing. Not. Yes, ma'am, I am. Well, no, you're not. She's standing next to the driver door. When I walked up, okay. um, she has her keys in her hand the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I asked her if she was going to drive. Um, and, I will and no, I don't want to. Okay. That's well, great. You shouldn't because you're not in any condition. So that's, that's a wise okay. choice. Yeah. Well, instead of pushing a bad... Uh, right. No, yeah. absolutely. I would like to talk to the manager. Yeah, she's refusing to let me do that. And she's... Ultimately, the officer wanted to verify the incident with the bar staff in the woman's presence to ensure clarity and fairness in handling the situation. What happened? I see you're taking a keen interest. I'd like to know. Just a little wasted. And started going off on her calling fat out I said, let us call you a little bit. Well, let me have one of the female employees drive you home. Right. And she just snapped on me. Like, what exactly did she say? Uh, she called me a fat man. I don't care. This is my job. I'm used to this stuff. I was just trying to be respectful and get her home. That's, of course, at the end of the day, that was it. And it didn't go that way. However, her ongoing resistance and obvious intoxication complicated this process. The officer highlighted the serious consequences of her public intoxication and the complaints from the bar, which she vehemently opposed. You're welcome to leave the property. But you're welcome to leave. I'm going to need you. To, I'm going to leave you. So, no, I won't be leaving until well, you do. Leave me alone. You're welcome. I'm to going leave to me arrest alone. you and take you to jail for trespassing if you don't leave the property in about five seconds. No, you can't arrest me for trespassing. I can't. You have to give me a warrant. I can't. No, actually, you can't. We already gave you a warning. No. She said a warrant. A she, warrant. Oh. she says a warrant as for no, a trespassing. No, no, no. Are we going to jail for trespassing? Is that what we're going to do? I will go there. Go now. Okay. Leave the you, property. You, I'm going to sue you. Do what you, whatever you need to do, ma'am. I don't want to arrest you. I just want you to go home safely. So. You know what? If, if, if you weren't, you wouldn't sit here. I'm, leave the property. I'm leave the property. Leave the property now. You're going the wrong way. No, I'm not. Okay. Stop. We're done with this. Turn around, please. Hands Stop. Behind your back. Hands behind your back. That's enough. Really? Hands behind your back. Yes. I'm done with this. We are done. You've been warned. I've had enough. That's enough. Do you understand? Stop resisting. Do not resist. Stop resisting. The confrontation ended with the police issuing trespassing charges against the woman, prohibiting her from returning to the bar due to her behavior. In the end, the woman was arrested for non-compliance with lawful orders related to the trespass notification. What do you think about how the police handle this situation? What do you think of the police's handling of this case? If you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for your support.